Welcome to the 2017 NCHA Lucas Oil Super Stakes. We just had the final tonight of the limited non-pro classic final. That was taken out by Jessica Finer on Be Nimble with the 220. Congratulations to you, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now you're no stranger to the Will Rogers, but this is actually your first win here. How does that feel? It feels so good. <laughs> it feels really surreal. I'm very excited. I've been around the sport my whole life, but um, not necessarily competing in age events except for the last couple years. And this was um, my first win, and I actually made my first non-pro finals, which is on Wednesday in the Will Rogers. So it's been an exciting week. Very exciting. Okay, so what was your game plan coming into this, considering that obviously you have a horse you feel pretty confident with? Mm -hmm. The game plan was just to try and be clean, pretend like it was a go-round, just if I had an opportunity to work a good cow or to kind of, you know, do a little bit more than the go-rounds, then we were going to take it. So, yeah. Now, you come from a cutting horse family. What are the, some of the things that you've learned that you took with you tonight, do you think, that helped you? Um, I think... Well, I have, I have my brother and my dad and Wesley Galleon in my corner, so I really, I think they kind of try and, you know, I tell them to be hard on me and yell at me, and <laughs> I had them in the corner kind of telling me, um, you know, hey, sit up, you're doing this or you're doing that, and I think being around it your whole life to where you're comfortable enough to where they can be hard on you has really, really helped. Do you still get nervous when you compete in here? Yes. <laughs> I try and just stay focused and not think about it too much or I, I can get a little nervous. Okay. So take us through your run if you can remember, you know, cow by cow. <laughs> I see what you did there. Um, so my first cow was red, bow tie. <laughs> we, um, we really liked that cow and um, we saw it kind of on top and we tried to just creep up there and... Um, and cut it clean and um, that one <laughs> went good. Second cow, I can't quite remember which one it looked like. I'm a little nervous right now, but um, um, I do remember we were just trying to, I, the, as the run went on, I um, got a little more comfortable on my horse and sending him. I've only shown him a couple times before this, so I'm figuring out that the more I use him and send him to those ends, the more the harder he's stopping. So. All right, you were first out. Um, how did it feel when you knew you had a good score and you had a chance to then have to sit through another 12 contestants, co competitors? Well, um, this horse, we bought in May of last year from Adrian Mortimer. And um, we've had him for, you know, 10 months now. And we were just so excited to be in the finals to market 220 in the Coliseum on him was really really exciting so I was I told myself no matter where I end up this is a big goal that we accomplished tonight and then kind of as we got halfway through the set being over I was like oh I have a shot here <laughs> and the cows were getting worse and I think we got really lucky um, with being first tonight the draw really helped us out um, and I think there towards the last couple horses you're never wanting to wish bad on anybody but you're kind of you know you're like, oh my gosh, this could happen. And when it happened, I was, I still can't believe it. So. How did you handle the cows tonight? Because they were pretty tough. They were tough. Um, I think, I didn't even think about them be being tough though, because I was first out. And in my mind, I was just like, they settled great. And I'm going to, you know, going to stick to the game plan, cut the ones that we liked. And I didn't have the opportunity to think, oh my gosh, I'm, this is a rough set. I need to, you know be on it so I think I got really lucky with the draw also okay and be nimble what do you like about this horse it sounds like um it's a fairly new partnership where are you going to go with this yeah um so be nimble we, we fell in love with at the BI last year um and we're I'm just excited that you know when you buy a horse and he's been he looked so great from the moment we bought him Adrian did a great great job on him and I think I'm just excited that you know it takes a while to get with the horse and we're finally we're clicking so it's um you know he missed the open finals by half a point so it's it's a big deal for for us with this horse because we were like we believe in him we believe in him. we've just been having bad luck this whole you know last year we couldn't get into the finals on him and so it feels nice whenever it takes a long time it finally is worth it and pays off so he's here to stride and so have you and good luck with your partnership in the future thank you for joining us thank you very much